Hi beautiful people! How are you all doing today? My name is Mark Kevin Reyes. I'm a sugar flower specialist and cake design innovator and instructor based here in Manila, Philippines. And I'm very very excited and thrilled to share with you this Christmas season. By the way, happy holidays to all! This very very easy flower that is very popular this season which is the Ponsetia flower. And this is what it looks like. I'll be sharing with you all my tips and tricks and all the techniques you need to know without using dusting. I have an alternative which is dry brush technique. So without further ado, let's start! Okay, so before we start with the creation of the Ponsetia flower, we have to prepare this. So this is what we'll be using for our coloring later on. So as I've mentioned, we won't be using any dust for adding details to the flower. So this is the alternative technique that I'll be teaching and sharing with you guys. So I call this the dry brush technique. So we have to do this first so that to give time for the gel colors to dry out. So the gel color that I'm using is Piotraco because I really love this brand because the color pops really well and it's really, really easy to use. But you can use any other brands, okay? So basically, I have your color red, which I did earlier. So that's the same thing that we will do with the other colors. So I have here red, I have green, and I have yellow. That's basically the colors that you only need for this flower, okay? So what you need to do, um, first, I placed a very small amount of gel color there. I highly recommend that you use a flat brush because it's easier. What you need to do is get a little bit of that create lines okay very thin lines as if you're just making or playing with paint colors so what we're doing here is we're actually exposing the gel so it will oxidize later on and what will be left is a little bit of gel and a lot of pigments okay so i'll show you later how you can use this one as an alternative for dusting and Normally, when I have very big projects, this is what I use because we all know that petal dust are a little bit expensive. So this is a great alternative, okay? So that's how you do it. So you need to let this dry for about 3 to 5 minutes depending on the humidity of your area. If it's very humid, you can put a fan in front of this one so that it oxidizes faster. And what's left is just the pigments and a little bit of gel, okay? Okay, so we will start with the creation of the flower itself. So just a little bit of a trivia. Um, for Ponsetia flower, the big petals that you see, it's actually not really petals. Those are actually called modified leaves or modified bracts. It's the same thing with Bongambilia flowers. So those are actually leaves. So the flowers are actually the very little parts at the center. And also another trivia, Ponsetia is actually a member of the Euphorbia family. So it means it's a semi-succulent plant. So it's actually a Euphorbia pulchenera. Okay, so now we have to start. So I'll be only using three cutters, okay? So this one is, the size is 4 cm by 5 cm. So you need to create 11 pieces of this one, okay? 11 pieces of this one. And then the next cutter, it's... 3 cm by 4 cm, you need to create 7 pieces of this one. And then for the next cutter, it's 2.5 cm by 3.5 cm, you need to create 7 pieces of this one also. And then later on, we'll be doing a free-form petal, which is very, very small. Uh, we need to create for about 5 pieces of that one, okay? So again, 11, 7, 7, and then 5 of the very small free form petals okay so to start with by the way for all of my flowers mostly i only use the rose petal cutter so i'll show you how i modify it okay i'll just get my rolling pin so what i'm using is mako paste you can also use any other kinds of paste for this one this is what i prefer because it's very humid and rainy on my area so you have to roll it out not so thin you see that it's very thick so we'll start off with a big one Actually, the technique, it's actually just all the same. Um, it's all different on the sizes. And then I'm using a Tupperware with the lid. So this helps my paste not to dry out, okay? So the first thing you need to do is roll out, okay? And then I roll back. See that? And then just roll on the side. So don't worry if it's gonna be uneven. You really want it to be uneven, okay? And then after that, you'll see that it increased its size, okay? 
So what you need to do now, uh, gently pull, pull the sides a little bit. See that? I'm just creating little pulls. Okay, so that it's going to be more uneven. And then I'm using a makeup brush with cornstarch just to avoid it from sticking to my veiner later on. Okay, so what I'm using is a leaf veiner, an ordinary leaf veiner. So you have to place it there. Okay, and then you press to get all the beautiful veinings in life. Okay, so what you'll have is something like this. What you need to do now is squeeze and squeeze your veiner so that you can easily pop it out, okay? And then you need to get your wire. So for this one, I'm using color green. This is wire number 22. You can also use number 24. You need to dip the end in edible glue. So for the edible glue, that's 2 tablespoon of warm water plus 1 4 teaspoon of Tylos powder. You have to mix it well until it becomes a little bit gooey and slimy, okay? So it has edible glue at the end, okay? So just create a line at the center, okay? And then after that, just place it on this position. Normally, I leave a little space for about an inch or half an inch. And then after that, press, 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 and press, okay? So what you'll have is something like so, and then you need to press this part. Okay. You need to press this part. So basically what we did, we just hid the stem, okay? Then after that, you create more details by pinching the petals. And then the end part, pinch it so that it's actually pointy, okay? So there you have it. So this is one modified bract or leaves of the Ponsettia flower. So you have to do this on all the petal sizes, okay? So when you flat it, actually the size changes. It becomes bigger, it becomes a little wide. That's okay. It has to be all different. Because if you look at the real Ponsettia flower, it's not really all the same. All the petals are actually different from one another. Okay, so you see that. And this one... You can actually let it dry on a petal former or what I love to do is just um, push it through your, uh, what do you call this, your styrofoam and then it won't flap, it will stay standing just like this, okay? And we need to let this dry for about 3 to 5 minutes and then we will apply the colors and details. Okay, so while our modified leaves are actually drying, we'll start making the real flowers of the Ponsettia flower. Okay, so first, uh, I have here wire number 26, but you can also use number 28 or 30. That's better because it's smaller and thinner. So you need to have um, around half a centimeter ball, okay? And then you insert this ball on your wire. No need to loop, okay? And then twist at the bottom. Just like that, like a teardrop. And then after that, using your knife tool or your ordinary knife, just be careful if you're using a real knife, just need to create a line for the detail. Okay, just like so. And then you need to create another line. So it has to be two lines, okay? Just like that, okay? And then after that, using your same wire, okay? You just insert it. You just poke it in and then you cut, okay? And then you poke it again, okay? Just like that. Okay, it's not focusing. Hello? Hello? Anyways, it looks like that, okay? And then you just have to cut it. Not sure why it's not focusing as of the moment. Okay, so we need to cut this out. Okay, and then just insert again, okay? insert hello focus hello okay 
better. And then we cut. Okay, so this is what you'll have. So you need to create five to six pieces of this one. Okay, and then after that, using your Tylo glue or edible glue, just dip in the edges of that wire and also some parts of this. And then what I have here, this is my gelatin mix with <clears throat> metal dust. So you just dip it there and you'll have something like so, okay? And then these small ones that you see, you need to create at least three divisions with five pieces each. So you need to create... Um, smaller than this size okay so just insert it on the wire it has to be different sizes and it will be like so okay different sizes and then after that some of these not all you need to add yellow details okay just like the real flower so you need to get very little amount okay just like that small very very tiny okay and then just elongate it on your fingers Okay, and then after that, get your edible glue again. So I'll just be adding it on one part that's in here. Okay, and then you put that there. Attach. Okay, see that has to be like that. I wonder why it's not focusing. Hello, hello. Anyway, it's like that. Okay, and then I'll try to remove everything so that it's going to focus only on this one. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then you just need to create a line. Just like that. Okay, it's like a small lip. Okay, so just do it on some of the small flowers, not all, okay? Again, that's how it looks like. Okay, you see that? We will put it on focus. Okay, there you go. So that's how it looks like. Okay, so right now, uh, we'll assemble the center so that we have something like this. So as you see, uh, we have three divisions a while back, okay? So this is the five pieces each, and then this is our cute little fully bloomed flowers, okay? So I have here wire number 22. You can also use number 26 or 24. So basically, what you need to do is first get one of the fully bloomed and then get another one, okay? And then wrap it with floral tape. So when you're using floral tape, don't forget to expand to activate the stickiness, okay? As you see, it's different elevation. And then you add your smaller pieces gently on place, okay? Again, at different elevation as you go around. Okay, and then just wrap it with floral tape. And then what you'll have is something like so. And then using your long nose, gently move it outer okay but not too much outer okay just a little bit far from each other but not too far okay because you need to maintain that closeness this christmas okay so once you have three sets of these we'll combine them together and then we will assemble and attach the petals or the modified leaves okay okay so right now this is actually one of the fun parts of this um Every time I'm making flowers, I always get excited when I dust my flowers, okay? But for this time, I'm going to show you one of my techniques, which is different from dusting. But actually, it's a little bit similar, but not exactly the same. This is my dry brush technique. So this is the gel paste that we actually dried earlier. Okay, so what you need to do, uh, this is a flat brush. So I have here three pieces of flat brush because uh, you don't want to mix the colors, okay? Okay. So let's start with the bigger one so that you'll see how it works. Okay, so first, you need to uh, make it a little bit bristly, okay? Just like that. And then just dip it on the red pigments because it's already dry. Okay, so just getting red pigments. Start off with one part. Not sure if you can see, but there is actually coloration going on. So you have to be very, very slow and what do you call this? Your hands should be very, very soft, okay, when applying this. And also make sure that the petals are actually fully dry before you apply this technique. See that? Okay, 
So the veinings are actually coming out more. Okay, so we we did it on one side already. So do it on the other side. Okay. So the good thing about this is it's actually a great alternative especially if you ran out of dust. Okay. So you see that? So there we have our details already. So if you want to actually make a gradation, just continue on just shaking it back and forth with the smaller or with the dry brush, okay? And then you will be spreading the colors of the dry pigments. You see that? It's very pretty. And then actually what I love to do with this one, I go with the color greens, okay? But not all, okay? Just on some parts of the petal, not all. Okay, this is wet. Sorry about that. This brush is wet, so we replace it with our dry brush. This is dry. So I just add very little touches of green at the edges, not all, okay? You see that? Okay, just very little touches of green because the bigger petals uh, the bigger modified leaves rather it's actually the the one that is closer to the green leaves okay just like that you see the gradation it's very pretty okay so this is how it should look like and then later on of course if you want to add in more details what I love to do I add some holes Okay. So using your barbecue stick or bamboo skewers, add some holes, just poke through, just like that. And then you just destroy some parts, okay, so that we can add a more realistic detail on this part. Okay, so just make that hole darker. See that? Okay. So there you have it. So you need to apply this on all petals. So only the bigger ones will have tinges and touches of greens, while all the others will have all the red ones, okay? And the very small ones will have littles of yellow, okay? And then later, I'll show you how to assemble this gorgeous Christmas flower. Okay, so right now, uh, we're done with applying all the colors. As you see, uh, what we use here is a dry brush technique. And I'm very, very sorry because the background is a little bit noisy because there's construction going on. So please bear with me. But now, uh, we'll be arranging this very pretty poncetia flower. So first, you need to get your center. So it's divided into three, right? Okay, so just put them close together to each other at the same level. Okay, and then you need to get your floral tape. Okay, and expand to activate the stickiness. So you put tape a little lower on this part, okay? Just twist it and then gently move it on a little bit outer scape, just like that, okay? So that there are some spaces in between which you can actually see through like the real poncetia flower. So let's start off with our smallest petal, okay? So, as you see, since we extended the paste here, so that's the point wherein you have to bend it. If you find it hard to bend, you can actually use a long nose to bend it for you. Just like that, and put it. So, the first ones, the smaller ones, the placement is actually very random, okay? Because these are actually petals that are still forming. I mean, there is... It's like they are babies, you know, they are still forming. So you use pliers to actually, or long nose to bend it. See that? Okay, and then I'll add another one. Sometimes what I love to do, I bend it on a different direction. So I can insert it on one part. Just like that, see that? This one. It's a little bit out of place, but it's very pretty. That's how we want it. Okay, again, bend. And insert. Okay. 
So, so far, this is the center of our poncetia. You can move it around depending on how you like it to be. Okay, and then we proceed with our uh, second set of petals, which is actually the semi-smaller one. So, this one, just bend. Okay, and then insert. Just like that. Okay. So when you're twisting, as you see, the stem is actually becoming a little bit thick. So this is when you actually trim the wires. Okay, so using your wire cutter, just trim them off so that it's not going to be so bulky. Because you don't want it very, very fat. Okay, you want it thin and just right. Okay. Let's continue twisting, okay. And then now, just continue adding and adding petals. Okay, I see that at this level, it's very pretty here. So we do another round. Okay, and then if your tape is short, just continue rounding it up. And then you get another set of long floral tape. Okay, always act as... Uh, Stretch to activate the stickiness. Okay. So sometimes uh, it helps if you bend a lot of your petals already or your modified leaves. Okay. So here as you see I'm bending all of them so that I just insert, insert, insert and then tape. Okay. Just bend it all. Just like that. Okay. And then get your bended um, flower modified leaves okay see that so here's one and then I put another one here on the other side and then get your tape okay and wind it up just like a thread okay see that so it's already starting to form and it's getting a little bit like Christmas <laughs> Okay, so here, I'm just placing them, wind it up, okay, and then I'm going to add here. So there's no specific pattern, okay? So you have to look at your flower from above, and then as you see, I'm getting lower and lower and lower. All the petals are not fully close to each other. It's actually like a series of those modified bracts getting lower and lower because if you observe the real flower that's how it looks like okay you see that there's spaces and it goes low again if you don't want it this thick you can actually trim the wires just like how we did earlier okay one moment so i'll just put it here and i'll start bending all this other this is the next set of the modified leaves Okay, so we're just bending them so it's easier to attach okay again get another round of floral tape expand to activate the stickiness okay just like that and then just attach it here see that okay and then get your floral tape and wind it up like a thread. So as you see, there's no specific place where I add. I just add on where I see it fits. Okay, so how would you know that? So you see on this part, it's already full. So I need to add more on the other side. Okay, just like that. And then I'll add some more. Okay. And then just another one right here. Okay, so I ran out of tape. That's normal. So we get another one. Get another round of our floral tape. Okay. So I'll be adding it just right here. And then always remember to cover it with floral tape. Okay, see that? 
it's actually looking a little bit prettier but we still have a lot of petals to go see that so nice so we continue adding more but before that again we bend our this is the last set of our modified leaves or bracts okay because in botanical terms they call it bracts but you can actually call them leaves okay so just fold them fold fold and then this is the last one okay so I just added more greens so that it's more realistic again just bend them okay and we are done with bending all of them so now we insert again our petals so have to look at it from above so you see there is a space here so I add one of my bigger petals here okay see that that's pretty that's looking pretty pretty nice and then add another one okay and then you go with another round of your floral tape okay see that okay so we add some more just continue adding and adding petals okay so when it gets lower sometimes it's harder to add floral tape so i suggest that you get another one which is longer okay and expand to activate the stickiness you see that so we add some more um again this is not the usual way of how you do ponsetia, okay? This is my own technique, which I based from observing the real ponsetias here on my garden. So this is not also the botanically correct technique, but this is my technique, okay? On how I do ponsetias for Christmas. You can also do this in clay. You can also do this in cold porcelain. It's really up to you. Okay, so we're done with all the bigger petals. So we will move on with the ones that has color greens. Okay, you see that? See that effect? It's really, really pretty. Okay. Let's do another round. Okay, so I'll just twist this. Okay, and then get another one. Until we are done with, you see that? You see all the layers? That's how the real flower looks like. Okay? So add some more. Again, lower. So it gets lower and lower and lower. So the green parts should actually be seen. See that? Okay, so this will add more details. To our finished flower. Some more here and some more here. Okay, and then just finish it up by wrapping it with a lot of floral tape. Okay, so there we have it. This is our beautiful Ponsetia flower. You see that? So, yep. You can actually move this a little bit so that you can see more of the greens and then you see that our center is very pretty and then there's a lot of layers going on okay so there you have it i hope you learned a lot and uh for those of you who are wondering i'll be uploading this on my youtube channel so you can watch it again and again even after this demo thank you bye